Hello everyone, I'm Arthur Luigi, and we are jumping right back into timelines. We have now, um, th whatever this is, the Fade. Identified as Tharka the Explorer, a sentient specimen of the species catalog to split 032A-0047-10C, D, 10-0C, sorry. Because, yeah, they, I, that's mixing. I tend to say, I tend to pronounce zero as O, so... That's not accurate here at all because there could totally be an O in that designation, but I'm getting distracted. So anyways, it's actually pushing the boundaries of its patrilineages realm through colonization efforts. However, its aggressive border expansion policy occasionally encounters unforeseen challenges. Potential risks of timeline vector decoherence due to Tharka's expansionist behavior has been identified. While the current event sequence is not an immediate risk of decoherence, maintaining future predictive coherence, require, coherence requires thorough examination. The nature of this event sequence necessitates rapid instantiation. The embodied sentient, a combat veteran of the species Split, is tasked with protecting her patriarch's colonial vessel by any means necessary. Uh, necess by any necessary means, sorry. The sentient will be insta instantiated upon destruction. Oh, that will be reinstated upon destruction. Survival of the colonial vessel is paramount to our own self-preservation. A sigma variance equal or greater to one star will collapse the quantum wave function favorably. Unappropriated vessel with unusual... Okay. So, let's jump in. See what this is all about. Ceres, Ronkar, Colony. So yeah, these words changed too. I saw Echo, De Departure, Inter Eternity, I guess. Departure again. I'm trying to pick up these words. I'm trying to see if there's clues in there, but it looks like the words chosen are specific to... Our name, Tharka, shall echo for all eternity. Scouts returned with reports. Fleet heads onto new system to establish family holdings. No machine can prevent our way. Destroy engine to slow their advance. Um, that's a... This is an interestingly designed ship. Does it actually have engines, or is it just basically a fixed station? Oh, that's a lot of engines. It has engines. H. So, what do we have? Okay, we have that, and we have missiles. Whoop, oh, overshot a little. Oh well, that'll work. Turret. Not what I wanted to aim at, though. Shield generator. Oh, let me get into the blind spot. No blind spot. I'm about to die. All critical. Alright, we survived. No, we did not. Engine. Feed dot get a ship's attacking colony ship. This is why I don't like split ships. Like, they're really cool looking, and they're very thematically appropriate, but they are useless when it comes to doing things like this. Although maybe maybe it's because I'm in a fighter, not an M ship, which is what I usually do this stuff in. F. Destroy Fade Edda? Oh, they, these ships have names? Fade Edda. Destroy Fade Dot Edda ships attacking engines. Uh, I think you're clipped there, ship. Stop your attack immediately. There we go.
Machine capital ship engage travel drive. Oh, I'm not going to survive this one. I am going to do horribly. I disabled that thing's engines. Engines taking damage. Machine capital ship attacking colony ship. Oh, that's a separate one? Engine. Okay, apparently there's multiple H's. Oh, come on. Get Planetary close. colony battling Craven machine raid. I'm genuinely surprised this but colony ship doesn't have a turret. Actually, it might have turrets. I can't tell from this Engine side. Lost. Machines attacking engines. Um, I we're supposed to lose this anyways, so. Okay, there's a second fighter on me. Oh, these weapons are useless. Come on. One down. Where's that other fighter that's targeting me? Is it you? Better be you. No. Fade dot feed ships attacking engines. Machines destroyed engine. Okay, I think that ship's leaving. Let's this Fade. Fade feed, okay. Capital ship gaining on colony ship. Oh. Okay. So I can attack to colony lost. Family Tharka fades from this system. They don't get a ship's attacking colony ship. Come on, it's the colony ship. I I guess our goal is to at least get the colony ship away. No glory for you. Not tolerate your actions. Where is that guy going? Machine capital ship engaged travel drive. Fight glorious battle for family Tharka. Engine lost! Hordes of defense drones are being spit, uh, spit out by the HISO. Fleet successfully relocated to new system. Family Tharka shall expand far and wide.
Oh, we did it. Distance uh, health percentage. Okay. Um, okay. I wasn't expecting to do that well. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Let's return to the Nexus. I was expecting that to take longer. Okay? Try not to move too quickly. Where is Split? What is this place? I'm sorry to say where isn't the biggest issue. You're in the year 2042. Cannot be. Time travel? Just rest a moment. I am Lissa Egon. This is Tamingtal, Mission Director, and over there is Harper Donald. Are there no Split here? You're the first, but I'm sure more will come. You're say to Pilt? Yes. Split not understand. Be at peace, say. No being here wishes you harm. You were in a bit of a situation and we got you out of there. But there was only one way to do that, and that was to bring you here. Your old life is gone, I'm afraid. But this place isn't so bad. This cannot be. Split has obligations. You have been chosen, Say. This is a great honor beyond any obligations in your past life. Rest for now. Explore the facility. When you're ready for your first mission, Lissa will show you the ropes. Missions? Split not understand. We are the Chosen. Our task is to travel through time, righting wrongs on behalf of the Creators. Not time travel, Tamingtel. So you say. I remain unconvinced. Just let things sink in for a bit. You can talk to us at any time. If not time travel, what is it then? Good day, Recruit Harper. I hope you're getting your mission numbers up. Creature, why do you lurk near Split? Hi. Hi. From Harper. <laughs> Split has much to think about. Please vacate. <laughs> I was not expecting to also say hi. I was expecting him to say hello. <laughs> uh, I am driven by the fire of the Creator's purpose, Argon Donald. What drives you today? Who are these Creators you talk about? This facility. These missions. They bear the hallmarks of a higher power. We are truly honored to be the agents of the Creators. How are the missions going, Tamingtal? Doing good work? I perform my allotted tasks. With all the humility you would expect. I see you two are fully engaged in this crucial work. People speak highly of your mission performance. I wonder, in fact, if we may have been transformed into Guardians of Time itself on our arrival at the facility. Yeah, this is suspicious. Like, he refers to Guardian of Time, and yet the, the mission director is insisting what we're doing is not time travel. Let's go talk to Lissa. Hey, Harper. This place isn't so bad when you get used to it. The missions are everything to me. I don't exactly know how, but I really think we're doing something worthwhile here. I am super suspicious. Let's go check the rooms. We've reached a milestone. Ooh. There's something in there. This must be what uh, what's her name's room. Especially since let's go check Cray. Does Cray have anything worth grabbing? Oh, there's a light switch. Did not notice that. I have a funny feeling the split's going to be our ally. Because the split's not going to be happy with this. Wait. 
Tamon is the is the uh, slob here. Wow, I was not expecting that of a parent. Ed. All right, well, I don't see anything new here. Let's, oh, maybe uh, Say has her own room? No, no, okay. So let's go back to the mission room and see what else is there. Actually, let's do a quick survey in here, see if I can spot any differences. Ooh, can I sit in the chairs? No. Can I open these lockers? Let's jump right back in again and see what we've unlocked because now that we've done that we should be able to go into the second tab ooh graph 2 all right spaceport tried uh, against the tide rise and mine Hazing the newbie. Um, ooh, which one do I want to do? I kind of want to see what this race in the movie is. So, operating and maintaining an orbital space station demands seamless coordination between service automatons and biological sentience, necessitating continuing technical skill enhancement in the dynamic environment of outer space. While stable in terms of timeline vector coherence, the influence of individual biologicals on this event sequence poses a predictive constraint. A detailed evaluation of self-motivation and resolve among non-pivotal sentience is therefore highly advisable. The embodied sentient, a specimen of the semi-aquatic species Talati, possess, uh, that's, read, I've been reading enough of that one, 032A-0047-107A, possesses an inherent understanding of three-dimensional environments. Now it's faced the challenge of adapting these skills to navigate maze-like structures inside the orbital installation. Racing towards the finish line, the sentient must choose between the long but safe path or taking dangerous shortcuts. Success will call fight for full membership on the installation's operations team. Okay, let's give this a shot. Now, let's see what are the words on the loading screen are. I see... I didn't see... Move fast, prove yourself, shortcut, uh, the maze, uh, prove yourself, shortcut, initiation, don't burn. Don't burn. Why did that door open? Okay, I don't know, but I just lost a bunch of time, so... Oh! a lot of noise in this area. Life support cooling. Satisfactory. With room for improvement. That's it? That's it? Okay. 
I return to the Nexus. That was a very short one. Um, okay. Let's see what's next. And up next we have... Greetings, creature. How are, How you? are you doing? Split processing strange circumstances, creature. Kind of you to ask. Here if you need me. You can call me Harper. Indeed. Thank you, Harper. Okay. Does they have a room now, actually? Let's go check. Creators are bringing peace and justice to the universe. Their true purpose is unknowable. They cannot be seen by us, but they are as gods to us, and we are their agents. We are guardians directed by them to right the wrongs of the universe, to protect the generations to come, to wield their swords in the name of peace and justice, to grow an army of guardians to fight by our side, this is our destiny. We are the guardians of destiny. We are the guardians, guardians of, destiny. of destiny. We are the guardians of destiny. We are the guardians, guardians of, destiny. of destiny. Now let us pray to the creators. This is starting to feel like a cult. Split admires your work for the creators. Oh, I can talk to these guys. Oh, no, I can't. All right, let's go. Oh, he was watching. I fail to see why you are no longer assigning recruitment missions to me. It is essential that the newlings are fully aware of the profound importance of the opportunity with which they are faced. You failed 25 recruitment missions, Tamitau. What am I supposed to do? You are a robot, a suspiciously intelligent and organic. In my time, the likes of you would be illegal in most of the galaxy. I demand to speak with your superior on this matter. You know you're not hurting my feelings, right? <laughs> and you can demand all you like, but no one's discriminating against you. You just talk too much. You say I talk too much? Yes. My copy can only hold the impedance bubble open for a limited time. You spend so much time wittering that the bubbles collapse before you have got the recruit's consent. You are implying that it is my verbosity that prevents me from completing these recruitment missions satisfactorily? <laughs> I'm implying nothing. That's what I'm telling you. In what? Perhaps I can make some effort to be more concise in my approaches to the Newlands. Okay, okay. I'll put you back in the recruitment rotations as they come up. I appreciate your candor on this consequential matter inorganic. I can see you're already working on your verbosity. That's kind of cute. Oh, we can't talk to him. Can we talk to Mission Director? No. All right, let's sneak into the rooms again and see if we can find Say's room. This room doesn't unlock, but I want to get in there. There has to be a way in there. Don't see any changes. Don't see any changes. Let's see if we can find Say's room. They have to be given a say room eventually. Let's check all of them. Oh, here we go. This is new. It looks like they only have a handful of room textures they're using. I've already been in these ones. No, I have not. So where's Say's room? Have they not given Say a room yet? Or did I just not read the nameplate? Okay, 
I'm not just, I'm just not seeing a nameplate for say. Does she not get a room? That is so rude. Alright, let's go see if we can talk to the mission director and um, Taman over here now that they've, they're done moving. No, no dialogue for them. Alright, let's head back up and initiate another mission. This is weird. Alright, next we have... Um, during the local chron chrono concept NT778 respectively, Common Era 9 2948, stellar junctions in the region designated Getsofune begin to fluctuate, causing significant delays in resources and reinforcement deliveries. This logistical challenge pro forces a once tentative alliance among species, human 032A-0047-0000E, -E, Argon Ascent Paranid, and Talade to solidify, confronting a looming threat from the adjacent replication groups of the autogenic presentience. This pivotal event sequence modulates the quantum wave function, hinging on the observational and decision-making process of individual sentience. Advancing a specific specimen in a complex multi-species hierarchy may assist in alignment with temporal ground truth. Further assessment of space-time dynamics is therefore mandated. The embodied sentient commits to mastering a skill set known as speed mining to excavate essential raw materials as quickly as possible. Despite the profession's challenge, the sentient's older bio-twin donates an aging ship and offers guidance. Together, they take substantial steps towards securing a stable future, setting the stage. Gather more units of ore within the time limit to improve your score. You can sell resources to the primary station to make space in your cargo hold for the next haul. Prioritize asteroids with high yields to fill up cargo more quickly. That's going to take forever. So let us... Um, you know what? We'll end the episode here, and in the next episode, we will do rant, um, hmm. an aggregation of autogenic presentience identified as Xenon Zero that have commenced unprovoked hostilities against orbital infrastructure installations, abstention to disrupt resource flow. Prior projections assign this event sequence a lower confidence than observed timeline vector suggests. It is advisable to reevaluate the sequence until a confidence level of 3 plus sigma is attained to ascertain predictive coherence. The embodied sentient is tasked with propelling the advancing tide of autogenic presentience by any means necessary, including the use of destruction force. Failure to protect the orbital installations will likely result in significant resource depletion and potential. Let's do that one next episode. I'll see you guys then. Bye.